What is happening guys? So I'm going to show you how to install the 65 millimeter four inch Nighthawk and 65 millimeter 2.5 inch Nighthawk dust boots. Um, so I have a Makita router in the mount and these are, they have a removable brush ring that you can buy replacement brushes. Um, the 2.5 comes in uh, one inch brushes and inch and a half brushes. There's also a removable bottom. There's two locating studs right here so that way when it does magnetize if you happen to run it into a clamp or something it can't come off the boot the only way to get it off is to come straight out or straight down the hose port is slightly past the acrylic that way if you use a really rigid like strong hose or whatever if it does start to pull it actually ends up grabbing on the corner there and it can't pull out i use a rigid dry back hose port on mine and you can just push it up on there and it stays on there really well there's a little ridge in here inside of this hose port so what you do is you just push that on and then you push it down and turn and it locks on there really tight so you have the acrylic piece these magnets will be facing upwards and you'll just take this and you'll just mount it flush with the bottom of the Makita router. What I mean by that is you'll mount that metal piece and this acrylic flush to each other. Then you take the bottom and you slap that on and your brush rings. And then your hose port. And that's all there is to it. You just install it like that. Now, the way I designed this is that this hard plastic and this collet nut are pretty much on the same plane. There is some adjustment in there. You can adjust it up and down if you need to. But what I've seen a few people do is that they'll adjust it all the way up like that, throw it on the Makita router, and then they cut off all suction. That's a no-no. You want at least about a quarter inch space, a little bit more. I'd probably go with three quarter inch space overall, which it's about where it's mounted like that, but you can get away with going up a little bit if you need to. I designed this dust boot really compact and small. And the reason for that is dry backs work a lot better when they're building up pressure and they got a constant, they're not just wide open. So um, it's not like a dust collection system where dust collection system really wants that. If you have a four inch hose, they want it to be a four inch wide hose essentially. And so that's why I've done this oblong shape um, and also, if you notice, my brushes all flare out. There's another reason for that when you're using a surfacing bit. That my brushes stay away from the bits and they kind of flare out. Um, I've never heard of anybody getting one stuck in the router bits as of yet. And I've sold quite a few of these. But even the 4 inch does that, they just flare out. As you can see. So that's how I designed those brushes. Um, the 65 millimeter 2.5 inch dust boot also has a Finley adapter and a Fez tool adapter. And um, I don't have a one inch adapter. I probably need to make one. Also one inch brushes or inch and a half is all the bigger I go on this. And the reason for that is because if you go with longer brushes and see how there's an opening there still, so if you do happen to smash this into the table and it doesn't flare out and you completely close off the suction, well, you're not going to be sucking anything up. You're just going to have stuff everywhere. And I've seen, so the way I've designed this is that these brushes cannot completely close off no matter what happens, which always means it's always pulling chips and stuff through the boot. Same thing with the four inch. Now the four inch version has, um, one 1.5 and two inch brush rings but again as you see it can't completely close itself off so i'll go ahead and install the four inch version now um, again three parts replaceable brush rings and then location pins so it can't come off and the magnets are really strong it doesn't they don't come off I mean, they're on there, so.
Put that on, flush with that. Put the bottom on, brush rings to flick in, and that's how you install it, the same way as the 2.5 version. The one thing with the 4 inch version is you can go down deeper because you can't close off the suction. But I've never had an issue with that. I've always just ran my boot where it's pretty much the collet nut sticking out just a hair or it's flush. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, um, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, feel free to shoot me a message on Etsy or uh, shoot me a message on Facebook or whatever. I appreciate you guys watching this and watching the installation video of the Nighthawk dust boot. And for everybody who supported us, I really appreciate it and thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And um, hopefully I'll be making a lot more videos soon of me really pushing the one with any CNC machine. And I cannot wait to get my Elite. I have an Elite coming and I cannot wait. So thanks for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you around.